curiosity, and then bam, pillar coming down, pillar, pillar. Miami Heat fans stunned when a sports bar deck collapses, throwing dozens into Miami's Biscayne Bay. Investigators now sifting through the damage for clues as to what went wrong. CBS 2's Lauren Pastrana, live now for us in North Bay Village. Lauren. Christine Maurice, that deck buckled into the shape of a V, sending people sliding into the water. Some of those witnesses and victims already have lined up. Some attorneys were told about 100 people were on the deck when it collapsed, and we are hearing that that is within the capacity for the structure that once stood here. Sunken and splintered, the deck at Shucker's Bar and Grill in North Bay Village is now the subject of intense scrutiny. Coast Guard and Miami-Dade police boats brought inspectors and investigators in for a closer look the morning after Thursday night's collapse. Just crunching, just crunching, and then pillars hitting the floor, hitting the floor, hitting the floor, and then pieces of wood I heard splashing, splash, splash, splash. Tables, chairs, and planters all slipped below the surface, along with dozens of the roughly 100 people who were on the deck watching the Miami Heat game. The whole restaurant was cheering and the screams started to continue to get louder and we started hearing a crunching noise and we turn around directly behind us and we noticed that the dock behind us is just collapsing. One second to another, I will hear boom and we're underwater, cheers coming at us, tables are coming at us, umbrellas. Some brave witnesses jumped in the water to rescue those trapped beneath the floating debris. In all, the fire department says more than two dozen people were hurt too seriously. I was completely scared because I just see my whole body bleeding and I don't know what happened to me and I start feeling this and I fell into the floor. A triage unit was set up in the parking lot as emergency vehicles flooded 79th Street. Witnesses say some people had cuts and bruises while others were missing teeth. Some victims were treated on scene but many were taken to hospitals for extra care. The village is extremely saddened by this unfortunate in incident and is diligently working with the owners of this landmark restaurant to make sure that all restorations are rebuilt in accordance to our current codes. Police say the deck measured 120 by 30 feet, supported by the seawall, a row of pilings, and a concrete tie beam. North Bay Village Police Chief Bob Daniels says it doesn't appear the pilings failed, leaving many to question what went wrong and how could this terrifying accident have been prevented. Now, Shuckers did pass a county fire marshal's inspection back in January of this year, but that inspection did not include a check on the structural integrity of that deck. Police plan to release more information on their investigation on Monday afternoon. Live in North Bay Village, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 2 News. Lauren, thank you. Well